In this screencast, you will be shown how to add a learning module, how to add an item, a file, a video, and a URL to that learning module. So in our course content area, let's click on learning modules. And now we need to build a learning module. So go to build content and down here to learning module. Select that. Give it a name. I'm going to call it module one people. And you can write in a description here in the text if you want. I won't put anything in here. Um, permit users to view this content, OK. We won't have any date or time um, restrictions. Um, in the viewing mode, you can enforce sequential viewing of the learning module. So they must do page one before moving to page two, page three, and page four. Um, I'll just leave that to no. I'm going to open it in a new window, and I will track the number of views. The hierarchy, um, show the table of contents to the user, I think is useful. And the hierarchy, you can start it with letters or, or numbers. I'm just going to put none in there. Once you've done that, you can click on Submit. You can see here we have our module one people, the learning module. So click on that. It's empty at the moment. So the first thing that we need to do is put in an item, like an introduction to the module. So if I type in introduction. Okay, so in module one, you will do all of these things here. Again, you can use the italics, maybe a bold, whatever. So once you have that done, again, permit users to view this content, track number of views. Um, you can add a, an attachment if you want. And date and time restrictions, let's leave it open. Click on Submit. And we have our introduction put in there. Next thing that we want to do is add a file. So you might want to, for example, have the PDF of the textbook or worksheet or something like that. So click on File. And you can browse directly from your computer, but this can sometimes lead to a lot of problems later because all the files get put in one location, so it's hard to, uh, to figure out which files go where. So what we need to do is browse the content collection. And we've already uploaded our content um, into the course here. This is the content collection, so we've uploaded it in here. So we're going to browse the content collection for that. So here we have the course content, uh, learning modules, module one, and we want to put the PDF file in. Here's the PDF file, so I'm going to put that in there. Once you've selected the file, you click on Submit. Um, here's the name here. So I might just say Unit Unit 1 and something like Textbook. Open in a new window. Um, it's a PDF file, so yes, I'll open in a new window. A track number of views, yes as well. I'll leave this open. Then click on Submit. So now we have an item. We've got a file. The next thing I want to put in is a, is a video. So build content and go down to video here. So click on video. Same procedure again. Browse the content collection. Browse content collection. Course content, learning modules, module one. And we have one video here. Okay, it's the MP4 format. Once we've selected that, click on Submit. And again, what's the name of this? Let's just call it Video or B Affirmative. Um, dimensions, we keep it to the original. You can custom these. Um, auto start, no. Loop, no. Permit users to view the content. Track number of views, yes. And again, we leave this open. So click on Submit. Now the video has been added here. The final thing I want to put in is maybe for extra activities you want to link to a URL. So we'll link to a website. So we we'll select URL for this. So build content, URL. Okay, this is the page that I want to do. So I'm going to copy the URL for this page and paste it in here. And it's um, extra practice maybe, something like that. You can add a description, maybe click here to access some um, online practice materials. 
done that, again, you can add an attachment if you want. I will open this in a new window. I will track the number of views. I'll leave it open and then click on Submit. So now in our learning module, um, we've added an introduction, which is an item. We've added a textbook, which is a file. We've added a, a video. And we've also added a URL, which is extra grammar practice for here. Um, let's have a look at this in student mode. So edit mode is off. So this is what a student will see. Okay, they'll only see the introduction, introduction, and then they can move around the pages either by clicking on this or by selecting a page here. So unit one textbook. Okay, and it opens up here. You look at the video, and then we can have the extra practice, and the web page will open up there.